This is my zebra billy can. It's the small. I get three large cups of tea out of this and there's enough room to boil, uh, boil in the bag food in it. I've made a container out of an old trousers leg with a drawstring to stop the black going into my rucksack. To the side of that I carry two plastic cutlery, a spoon and fork. I don't bother with a knife because I always got one on my hip. In my can I carry all what I need to make a cup of tea. When you're in the woods I recommend a small filter. You always get twigs and bark and bits and bobs floating in it so you can drain, strain it through that one. Also to lift your billy can off open fires you're going to need some kind of cloth. I've got an old camo bandana here and in here I carry my tea bags in a, in a plastic bag so they don't get damp. Some whitener because I like my white tea and coffee and a lot of sugar. This holds approximately one and a half litres of water. In conjunction, I use British Army water bottles, one litre. These are actually the proper army bottles. There is uh, PLC, they're called. Uh, there are others on the market what come with a plastic cup. They don't hold as much water and they are not as strong. Although I've had one for years, but they're not that bad. And with that, I carry a BCB one litre metal cup, which in emergency, if I haven't got the billy cam with me, I'll boil my brews in this. The benefit of the metal ones, they're easier to clean in the woods. There is measurements on the can so you can measure water if you're doing cooking outside, particularly if you're making breads and stuff like that. So they're handy to have. Also they don't break and they don't melt around the campfire. And if I've got no other way of cleaning them, if I give them a swill out in dirty water, let's say a running stream, I can heat them on the fire and sterilize them that way. When it comes to the zebra tins, they got a hanger, which is really handy to hang things off. But also, because of its length, you can actually put a billy can into the side of the fire and it'll boil your water that way. That is a, one of the best things about this, because you haven't always got time to make a hanger or a stick or you can't find the right location or you're on the move too quickly. So you can get a brew or your food on really quickly this way. There is billy cans got got a wider base and a bit thinner, but they're not so good for this style of cooking. But they're designed to be hung. The benefit of those, of course, the broader the base protects it from any rain coming down onto the fire, which keeps your fire gives keeps a good heart to your fire. Also, for the BCB metal mug. You can buy these extension brackets. I don't know their proper word or name for them, but you can sit them on your can and you can hang your fire, hang them over the fire as a mini billy can. This is quite invent, quite good idea. I don't use it too often because I usually got the can with me, but I have used them in the past. And they're lightweight and they're nothing to carry. They can be stored underneath like that, but I always find they rattle a bit, so I took them off. You can also buy a BCB plastic cup. I prefer if they had a metal one myself but they got plastic which you can sit on. This helps sorry about that. This helps bits stop falling in. It helps stop that. Also in winter time it stop, helps stop your tea going too cold. Being metal it conducts the heat very quickly away. There's a little hole and there's a drink hole here. And these are handy in the winter time particularly I use it more. Also, if you're taking your dog out for a walk, he always robs your tea, so it stops his nose going in there too. We've all saw these. These are the British Army excellent block burners. This is the new version on, and it comes with a lid like that, which you set up. These are their excellent block burners. I carry in the tin when it's folded up. But these are designed to actually take this litre, litre metal, metal cup 
and it sits in there really nicely. And you can actually boil up your ration pack in there and, or make a quick brew like that. So as a little cooking for brew making on the move, this is ideal. And I use this when I'm going light wake and I'm doing some miles rather than stopping in the woods for any period of time. On top of that, I've got my mess tin. I don't know the name and make of these, but they are on net. Green peat uh, budget bushcraft, I believe you can get them. But you've got a frying pan and a boiling pan there. I got some extra rations, chocolate and tea in there. But these are very good. Although I've used I've used British Army mess tins for the best part of 20 years. And there's nothing wrong with them either. But they fold up really smaller and they've got a lid so you can pack things in which the British Army mess tins don't. Although the last time I was out doing a course, one of the students actually packed Instead of putting them bottom inside, they put them top to top and slit them that way, which I never ever thought of doing, but that was a real initiative way of doing it. And it gave me a lid, which I saved by in that one. Another useful piece of kit to carry is the Shamak. Pick these up for about five to 10 pound now. I've got the darker colors to blend in with the woods. And these are obviously designed to keep the heat in around your neck or a scarf. And they're great for that. I also found them handy for collecting water and using like a, a rag and things like that. Lifting things off a fire. Wrapped up in a certain way for going from the corners, you can make a little bag for collecting firewood or any fungi or wild foods. That's also very good. At night times when it gets colder camping, I sleep with this over lightly over my face. This stops your nose going cold in the night and getting a sore throat in the morning. It does take a bit of use to though, having some over your face, but you're not supposed to sleep with your face in the sleeping bag because your moisture condenses, making the sleeping bag cold. You take out the insulation properties of it. So your head has to stay out the bag. Um, in an emergency, it makes a arm brace. You can lock it up against yourself like that. So we'll get the camera, like that. I know you, they really are one of the multi tools in the rucksacks pack pack and for very little weight. I actually carry two because obviously if I'm wearing one for heat, then I need, I've got a backup one for other, other tasks.